Hi guys, let's look at this simple question that we have here. We are told to solve for x in the exponential equation below. 9 raised to our x plus 2 is equal to 240 plus 9x. Solving for x means finding the value of x that makes the left side of the equation equal to the right side of the equation. So in order to get this done, we are going to apply some laws of indices. So let's begin to solve. Solution. So let's write down the equation again. 9 raised to our x plus 2 is equal to 240 plus 9x. So what we are going to do first is to move 9 raised to our x to the left side so that all the values containing x will be on one side of the equation. So this means we have 9 raised to our x plus 2 plus 9 raised to our x crossing over the equal to sign is going to become minus 9 raised to our x. So we have minus 9 raised to our x is equal to 240. Okay? Now, let's look at some laws of indices. If we have x raised to the power a plus b, this is the same thing as x raised to the power a multiplied by x raised to the power b. This is the law of multiplication in indices. So we can apply it here. 9 raised to the power x plus 2 is similar to this. So we can expand it to look like this. So here, instead of having 1x, we now have 2x. So instead of having 1 9 here, we're going to have 9 raised to the power x multiplied by 9 raised to the power 2 minus 9 raised to the power x is equal to 240. Okay? Now, at this point, we can factorize. 9 raised to the power x multiplied by 9 raised to the power 2. This is one group. And minus 9 raised to the power x is one group. So is there anything similar between this group and this group? The answer is yes. We have 9 raised to the power x here. And we also have 9 raised to the x. So we bring it outside the bracket. So this means 9 raised to the x, bracket open. 9 raised to the x will cancel out 9 raised to the x. So we have 9 raised to the 2 minus 9 raised to the x divided by 9 raised to the x is going to give us 1. It's equal to 240. Okay? So what is 9 raised to the x? 9 raised to the x is the same thing as 9 multiplied by 9, which is 81. So this means we have 9 raised to the power x into 81 minus 1 is equal to 240. Okay? 80, 81 minus 1 is going to give us 80. This means we now have 9 raised to the power x into 80 is equal to 240. So in order to cancel out 80, we divide both sides by 80. So 9 raised to the power x into 80 which is multiplied by 80, all over 80 is equal to 240 all over 80. So 80 is going to cancel out 80. We have 9 raised to the x is equal to 240 divided by 80 is going to give us 3. So moving forward, we have a base of 9 here and we have a base of 3 here. But we can convert the base of 9 to become the base of 3 because 9 is the same thing as 3 raised to the power 2. So instead of having 9 here, we are going to introduce 3 raised to the power 2. So this means 3 raised to the power 2 into x is equal to 3. But 3 is the same thing as 3 raised to the power 1. Any number raised to the power 1 is that same number. So we have 3 raised to the power 1. So at this point, the bases are the same. Therefore, we equate the powers. So we have 2x is equal to 1. In order to get the value of x, we have to divide both sides by 2. So this means we have 2x all over 2 is equal to 1 all over 2. 2 is going to cancel out 2, therefore, x is equal to 1 all over 2. This becomes the answer to this simple question. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more mass content. See you in the next video. Bye.